The railroad's arrival in the 19th century significantly changed Native American lives, fundamentally altering their existence. As railroads carved through vast expanses of North America, they facilitated the rapid westward expansion of settlers, commerce, and new opportunities. However, this expansion led to considerable disruptions for Native American tribes who faced dramatic shifts in their traditional lifestyles. The railroad altered territories and introduced new economic pressures and social challenges. What were the true impacts of the railroad on Native American societies? How did these changes shape their future? Stay tuned to uncover the full story behind this transformative period in history. Before the advent of the railroad, Native Americans' lives were deeply connected to their vast ancestral lands, which provided the resources necessary for their survival and cultural practices. Tribes such as the Plains Indians relied on buffalo for food, clothing, and tools, while others engaged in agriculture, hunting, and fishing. Native American societies had rich traditions and complex social structures. They believed their lands were spiritually important and represented their heritage. They traded goods with other tribes over large areas, which helped them interact culturally and economically. Ceremonies, storytelling, and art were crucial for keeping their history alive and passing down their values. They lived in harmony with nature and deeply respected the environment around them. However, this balanced existence was dramatically altered with the introduction of the railroad, leading to profound and lasting changes. The transformation began with the construction of the Pacific Railroad from 1863 to 1869, originally intended to link the eastern U.S. networks to the West Coast. Interestingly, the idea of a coast-to-coast -coast railroad wasn't part of the initial plan at the project's outset. In 1849, Asa Whitney proposed the idea of a transcontinental railway linking Chicago to California. His vision garnered support from influential figures, igniting a movement that would transform American infrastructure forever. In 1852, Theodore Judah, chief engineer of the Sacramento Valley Railroad, surveyed the rugged Sierra Nevada to find the optimal route. This region had long been home to numerous indigenous tribes, such as the Sierra Mono, Mojave, and Miwok. By 1856, Judah presented his plans to Congress. The culmination came on July 1, 1862, with the passage of the Pacific Railroad Act of 1862, authorizing the Central Pacific Railroad, CPRR, and Union Pacific Railroad to undertake the ambitious project. The CPRR, led by President Leland Stanford, ceremonially drove the Golden Spike on May the 10th, 1869, at Promontory Summit, Utah, marking the Transcontinental Railroad's completion. This feat involved laying thousands of miles of track across daunting terrain, mountains, plains, and valleys. As the rail lines extended westward, they brought significant changes. Settlements sprang up along the routes, attracting pioneers, miners, and entrepreneurs seeking new opportunities. Despite revolutionizing cross-continental travel, the railroad's path through the Sierra Nevada disrupted the ancestral lands of Native American tribes. These lands held profound cultural, spiritual, and economic significance for indigenous peoples, whose way of life was forever altered by the railroad's intrusion. The ensuing clashes and hardships laid bare the dual narrative of America's rapid technological advancement and the profound cultural disruption experienced by Native American tribes. As the iron tracks of the railroad stretched across the tribe's landscape, they brought a new era of expansion and the influx of settlers. However, this expansion came at a tremendous cost to Native American tribes as they were systematically pushed off their lands and disrupted. The United States government facilitated this westward push through a series of treaties that were often negotiated under duress or deception, 
promising land and resources to Native American tribes, but rarely honoring these commitments. The Homestead Act in 1862 also fueled the ejection of the Native American tribes from their lands and effectively gave away land in the West to settlers. The imposition of new boundaries and the arrival of new settlers often led to violent conflicts as the Native Americans resisted the encroachment on their lands. The resulting wars and battles gravely increased the trauma and loss experienced by Native American tribes during this era. After the Civil War ended in 1865, several tribes defied government orders to relocate, prompting the Army to enforce policies aimed at keeping Native American communities confined to assigned reservations. This period coincided with the arrival of the Railroad, which brought profound cultural and environmental changes that deeply affected these tribes. One of the most critical impacts was on the bison, which served as the cornerstone of life for many Plains tribes. The railroad's expansion disrupted the bison's migratory patterns and facilitated mass hunting, leading to a rapid decline in their population and threatening the livelihoods and traditions of Native Americans reliant on them. The construction of the railroad enhanced the mass hunting of bison as it provided easy access to markets where bison hides and meat were in high demand. The hunters were often encouraged by the rail companies and the government to slaughter bisons. These bisons were hunted in staggering numbers, and this eventually led to the reduction of the population from millions to near extinction within just a few decades of the influx of settlers. For the Native American tribes, the buffalo was more than a food source. It was an integral part of their culture, spirituality, and economy. The loss of the bison herds meant the collapse of the culture that had sustained them for generations. This environmental devastation forced many tribes to depend on government rations and aid, further eroding their autonomy and traditional practices. The railroad also led to widespread environmental degradation. The construction and operation of rail lines required vast amounts of timber for ties, bridges, and fuel. This demand caused a surge in deforestation that disrupted the ecosystems and diminished the natural resources that Native American tribes relied upon. Rivers were also polluted, and fertile lands were transformed into industrial zones or farmland for new settlers. This drastically changed the landscape. The cultural impact of the railroad extended beyond just environmental changes. The encroachment on these indigenous lands and the influx of settlers introduced new economic and social pressures. These Native American tribes had no choice but became compelled to adapt to new forms of labor, trading, and interaction with the non-Native communities. Traditional crafts and practices were devalued or lost as Western goods and ways of life became prevalent. Their artifacts, traditions, and entire ways of life were almost extinct. The influx of settlers brought new cultural norms and values that dismissed or outrightly suppressed the various tribes' traditions. The spread of the railroad also led to forcefully imposing Western education and religious practices on Native American children. The boarding schools were run by religious organizations with the sole aim of assimilating the Native American children to eradicate their languages, traditions, and identities. These schools caused deep psychological and cultural harm, the effects of which are still felt today. The arrival of the railroad caused a profound transformation in the economy and lifestyle of indigenous American communities. As their traditional ways of life were disrupted, many Native Americans were forced to adapt to new economic realities. Displacement from their ancestral lands and the loss of key resources such as the buffalo forced tribes to find alternative means of sustenance and income. The railroad brought an influx of settlers, traders, and entrepreneurs who established trading posts and new settlements. 
Native Americans began to trade with these new communities, exchanging goods such as crafts, furs, and other resources. This exchange introduced Native American tribes to new goods and economic practices, though they were often exploited and at a disadvantage. Forced to live on reservations, Natives had to navigate a dramatically different lifestyle. Reservations were often located on less fertile and resource-rich lands, making traditional hunting, gathering, and agricultural practices difficult for Native American tribes. As a result, many tribes had to rely on government rations and aid, which were often insufficient and of poor quality. Native Americans' dependency on the government undermined their economic independence and self-sufficiency. To survive, some Native Americans took up wage labor, working as ranch hands, farm laborers, or in railroad construction and maintenance. This work was often grueling and poorly paid, yet it became necessary for many to support their families. The shift to wage labor represented a significant departure from the communal and subsistence-based economies that had previously defined Native American life. Life on reservations also brought changes to social structures and community life. The introduction of Western education and religious practices further altered traditional roles and customs. Despite these efforts, many Native American communities found ways to preserve their cultural practices by blending old and new ways. The economic changes brought by the Transcontinental Railroad era also led to significant shifts in gender roles within Native American communities. As men increasingly took on wage labor, women, who had often assumed greater responsibility for farming, shifted their focus to maintaining cultural and domestic life. This shift affected the resilience and adaptability of Native American women, who played crucial roles in sustaining their communities through times of drastic change. The economic and lifestyle changes brought about by the railroad era were multifaceted and complex. While they brought new opportunities and interactions, they also caused significant hardships and challenges for Native Americans. Despite the immense challenges brought by the railroad and the accompanying wave of westward expansion, several Native American tribes actively resisted encroachment through various means, from armed conflict to cultural preservation. Would any man gladly allow an uninvited stranger to come into his home and take over everything he has? Now. You understand the pain of the indigenous people of the plains and why they resorted to fighting for their people and their lands. Armed resistance was a common response of the affected indigenous people to treaty violations and encroachments on their lands. Leaders such as Sitting Bull, Crazy Horse, and Geronimo became prominent figures in Native American resistance. These leaders and followers fought bravely to defend their territories and rich cultures against overwhelming odds. Battles like the Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876 became symbols of these tribes' struggle. Their efforts reflect their fierce determination to protect their homelands. In addition to armed resistance, many Native American tribes engaged in legal and political battles to assert their rights. Leaders, such as Chief Joseph of the Nez Perce, argued for his people's right to live on their ancestral lands, appealing to both moral and legal principles. Although these efforts usually faced significant opposition, they laid the groundwork for future legal victories and the ongoing fight for Native American rights. Cultural preservation became another significant form of resistance. Despite attempts to assimilate Native American children through boarding schools and other means, numerous tribes found ways to maintain their languages, traditions, and spiritual practices. These tribes held secret gatherings, oral traditions, and clandestine ceremonies to preserve cultural knowledge. Over time, these efforts evolved into full-blown cultural revitalization movements, 
enabling tribes to reaffirm their identities and heritage. Modern adaptations also played a vital role in the survival and flourishing of Native American communities as tribes began blending elements of Western society with their unique cultural heritage, such as developing tribal enterprises, casinos, and tourism. These modern adaptations provided new sources of revenue and employment while celebrating Native American culture and heritage. Education and political activism became key focuses for Native American communities. Tribal colleges and education programs were established to provide culturally relevant education and empower the next generation. Political activism, spearheaded by organizations like the American Indian Movement, AIM, brought national attention to issues such as treaty rights, land reclamation, and social justice, leading to significant legal and policy changes. The story of the railroad's impact on the Native American lives did not end with the 19th century. Its legacy continues to shape the experiences of Native American communities today. The efforts to reclaim land, revitalize languages, and preserve their cultural practices remain important. It reflects a blend of tradition and modern innovation. Today, environmental restoration projects are underway to help heal the land and restore the ecosystems damaged by the railroad and subsequent industrial activities. The indigenous American tribes are actively involved in these initiatives by bringing their traditional ecological knowledge to the forefront of conservation efforts. These efforts have gone a long way to repair their environment and strengthen the cultural connection between Native Americans and their ancestral lands. Cultural revival events and educational initiatives are flourishing, empowering new generations to embrace and celebrate their heritage. Tribal colleges, cultural centers, and language revitalization programs are instrumental in fostering a sense of identity and community among Native American youth. These efforts are important for maintaining the cultural diversity and richness that have long defined Native American societies. Political and legal activism of these tribes has also continued to play a significant role in addressing historical injustices and advocating for Native American rights. Ongoing policy reforms and landmark legal victories are gradually rectifying the wrongs of the past ensuring that Native American voices are heard and respected both locally and internationally. Economic development initiatives, such as tribal enterprises, casinos, and tourism, have provided new opportunities for the growth and self-sufficiency of the indigenous American tribes. These ventures have generated revenue, helped promote cultural tourism, and invited people worldwide to learn about and appreciate Native American cultures. No doubt, the arrival of the Transcontinental Railroad to the Plains heralded a complicated history of hardship, strength, and recovery for the natives. It is important to remember that the consequences of the Transcontinental Railroad construction were not uniform across the various Native tribes. Each tribe faced its own set of difficulties as they experienced settlers' encroachment and the railroad's construction. For instance, some tribes, like the Pawnee, sought to cultivate friendly relationships with settlers, while others resisted the influx of settlers. Today, these Native American tribes are surviving and thriving, drawing from their rich cultural heritage to build a brighter future. This resilience inspires their younger generations to strive for even more. As we reflect on this chapter of American history, we must recognize both the pain and the resilience, the loss and the recovery. The story of the railroad and Native American lives is a profound transformation that offers valuable lessons in the power of community, identity, and the unyielding spirit of a people. And with that, we wrap up today's episode. 
Thank you for joining us once again. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more content that delves into the untold stories of our past. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be the first to see our new updates. See you in our next video.